All right, how's it going? Uh, my name is Ryan Nelson. I am 25 years old. I am originally from Winfield, Iowa. It's in southeast Iowa, about an hour south of Cedar Rapids near Mount Pleasant. It's the closest, more sizable town in Iowa that it's close to. Um, I lived in Cedar Rapids though for two years after I graduated from college and I worked at the rec center at Rockwall Collins or Collins Aerospace now, I guess. Um, I was a personal trainer there and worked behind the front desk there and taught some group fitness as well. Um, but now I live in Minneapolis and I have lived here for about a year. I moved here last February. Um, I am the youngest of three. I have two older brothers. They're both quite a bit older than me and are both married and have kids. So I'm an uncle of five. The uh, oldest is 13. And he's a stud wrestler. He's going to state for AAU next week for the, or in a couple weeks for the third straight year. And the youngest is going to be three in May. Um, my parents still live in Winfield in the same house. My dad is the warden of the Mount Pleasant Correctional Facility. So that's kind of interesting. Um, talking about my education, my background is not business related. I have a bachelor's degree in exercise science from the University of Northern Iowa. Graduated from there in 2017. Um, so obviously I'm totally changing course by getting my MBA. I kind of was done with fitness and was ready to move on to something else, which, so obviously I worked in fitness for the last few years until last week, I started a, um, new job at Wells Fargo and their enterprise complaints. I'm trying to remember what it stands for. Um, Enterprise Complaints Management Office. Uh, so I deal with escalated complaints as my line of business. So I'm working in financial services now, which is a little more relevant. So when I graduate with my MBA, I won't have zero experience, which will be nice. Something unique about me, I'm going to go with the background or experience. Um or something that has only happened to me. Something that has only happened to me, probably, is I had a two-week span where I was totally cursed with my car this past summer. I went in to get a sound checked when I was getting a routine oil changed at the end of July and ended up that the noise was my... Uh, struts were busted in the back of my car, which isn't a cheap fix exactly. It was about 500 bucks to fix that. A week passes, like exactly a week. It was a Wednesday, and then it was the following Wednesday. I you know, went to work, whatever. I worked downtown, so I parked in a parking garage. And it was a little bit older of a parking garage, so it wasn't very high in terms of the clearance. And my starter went out in my car. So I couldn't get my car started and a tow truck couldn't get in. So I had to push, put my car in neutral and uh, our security guard had to help me. We had to push my car to the ramp that was a spiral in the middle. And I had to ride it down in neutral all the way to the bottom to the tow truck. And then it was another $600 to fix that, so. If you can top my luck with vehicles, then let's hear it. And yeah, that's me.